Are you looking for ways to improve your running, to run faster, to run longer? Strengthening exercise are essential to your training. And that's true whether you're a new runner or you're an experienced runner, that you're training for a 5K or you're training for an ultra marathon, these strengthening workout will have huge impact, both on your speed, your endurance, and also preventing injuries. Today, I'm walking you through five strengthening exercises that I use as an ultra runner and these can be done within a quick 20 minute session. Hi, Simon here. Welcome to my channel. I'm an experienced ultra runner and on this channel, I provide you training tips to help improve your running. Today, we're talking about strengthening exercise, exercise that I use myself as part of my training for ultra marathon. And these exercises will benefit new runner and experienced runner, both at getting faster, but also at running longer and at preventing injuries. There's basically a bajillion exercise that you could do, but I decide to compress it to only five so that the session would be fast and effective and you would gain the best for the amount of time that you're investing in that. And before we dive into the specific exercise that I'm recommending, let's address the big question here is why? Why strengthening exercise shouldn't running be what you do to run better? You know, running faster, run faster, running longer to run longer. I'm obviously not saying that running is not important as part of your training. In fact, if you want help to create a training schedule for your running, I have a video about that that can help you run your first ultra marathon or your first 100 mile but you also want to add strengthening exercise session. I recommend one or two every week, at least 25 minutes. You could do more than that, but already with that amount, you will see an important difference. These strengthening session will help you build muscle and these muscle obviously will help you be more explosive, running faster, jumping higher, but also will help your muscle sustain more damage so you can run for a longer distance. Also, if you've ever had an injury and had to see a physiotherapist, PT, they will always recommend exercise because of a lot of injuries in terms of running come potentially from weak specific muscle imbalance between your two legs or simply your joints having to absorb so much of the shock because your muscle are not able to, to actually be the one absorbing the blunt of the impact of your weight just hammering all the time. When should you have these sessions? So first is which day, but also compared to your running, is it before, is it after? I would recommend adding that to either a rest day or to a day where you had slower, lower mileage. But I would highly advise against doing that when you have an interval or a speed session because that could increase your risk of injuries. And if you do it on a day that you have long run, I think you're gonna struggle either with your long run or your stranding session. Speaking of, if you would do it on a day that you have a full run, what I would recommend is that you do a warm up, you do your strengthening session, and then either you go for your run or you actually space them by a few hours and then you go for your run. As I mentioned, I would suggest having one or two sessions every week of about 25 minutes. And the way to structure them is do a warm up before that. It can be just running. And after my session, I will do the same. Finally, one of the things that we don't mention nearly often enough is that it's important to eat and to provide your body nutrients. And I think that's especially true when it comes to straightening session. You want to have protein and the recommendation would be to have protein within 45 minutes of your exercise. Of course, if you cannot do it for practical reason, do it afterwards. But it's just good to think about it. For me, what I would do is I would have a smoothie with protein that would be prepared in advance. And as soon as I'm done with my workout, I drink it and now my body has the material to actually repair and build my muscle to be stronger. All right, so 20 minutes to improve your running, let's go. The first exercise will be squatting. Squatting is really your bread and butter when it comes to strengthening your legs. It will activate all of your big muscles. You could use weight, but I was too lazy to bring them out, especially with the drone. Hi, how are you doing? Three, three series of 10 to 15. Don't use weight that are too heavy. The goal is to have a high volume. It's gonna be very useful strengthening your glute, strengthening your quads. Always focus on your form, especially if you're using weight to avoid injuries. So do the movement slowly. Try to be straight as much as possible. Bend your knees. Your knees shouldn't go over your toes. You go up, you go down. It's not about speed, it's about control. 
<laughs> With that weight, it's a little bit easy, so I'm not struggling so much here. If it feels too easy, probably you need to add a little bit of weight, or otherwise just do one more series of 10 to 15. You should be tired after that, you should really be feeling it. Alright. Now we're gonna go with launch. There's also a lot of variants for this one. The simplest one is just to step forward, bend your knee and go downward. Try to stay as straight as possible when you do that, so your leg or your knee shouldn't go sideways. It's gonna help with balance, especially if you have weight. If you're not sure about your form, you can always film yourself, prop your phone, film yourself, make sure that the make sure that you have a correct form before adding weight, otherwise there's always a risk of injury. Make sure to go deep, make sure to engage your core, whatever the f that means. If you're looking for a variant that is a little harder and that I strongly recommend, the Bulgarian split squat is very good. The only thing is that you will need some kind of step or something to put your feet, but it's a very good exercise and with weight in particular, you will feel it very quickly. And really what's good about doing a lot of different variants is that it will strengthen different sub muscle and that will help when you want to stabilize your leg. When you're trail running, it's not on an even floor, so you have to have a lot of stabilization muscle and that's true in your leg and that's true in your core. Before we dive into the next one, first, thank you to everyone who's supporting my channel financially. Obviously, I reinvest that immediately on things that will help me create material for this channel. So thank you so much. And if you appreciate this channel, you appreciate this video, please leave a thumbs up, share the video with people that could benefit from that. That is helping my channel grow and I appreciate that a lot. And in the comments below, are you including strengthening session as part of your training? What are the exercises that you're doing? Finally, people often ask me what's the gear that I use when I'm training. I've created videos about the gear that I'm using and what you should pack in trail and ultra running. But I've also created a list with links where you can get these items. These are affiliate links. What that means is it's the same price for you as if you would not use these links, but the vendor is giving me a small percentage. And that means it's an easy way for you to support the channel and directly, if you order your gel, you'll pay the same price and then directly you're contributing financially to the channel, which I appreciate a lot. So for the next one, we work on our calf, and that's gonna be especially helpful when you go uphill. Without weight, it feels a little bit silly. If you don't have weight or it's just too easy, the solution here is to do a one leg and the one leg is particularly good and I like it a lot when it comes to trail running because you'll have to stabilize your body and that will strengthen your muscle and your ankle. You need these muscles to stabilize when you're on trail because your ankle will be all over the place. Right now my heels will only go down to the floor but if you're on the stair you could go even lower. We're gonna do step ups and that's gonna be particularly helpful to build these muscles that will be used when you go power hiking. So you, if you do a lot of trail running that involves climbing mountain. Personally, I like when I do my step up to raise my second leg all the way up. That's kind of releasing the pressure on my hip flexor and that just feels pretty good. I recommend this session to be effective. Overall, what you're trying to reinforce are your quads, your glute and your calves. And you wanna work on stabilization muscles. So anything that is single leg, that's actually great. It's gonna be very helpful at preventing injury, rolling your ankle or things like that. It's having these muscles that will stabilize. Again, work on your glute. You should really tighten that up. Engage your core, whatever the f that means. All right, for the last one, it would be great to have a mat or something. So if you're in the gym, that's a little bit more practical. We're gonna work on our core. I'm only gonna do one exercise. We're gonna do flutter kicks, but core, you should really work on that. And a single exercise is definitely cutting it a little bit short. You really could have a full session dedicating to core. The flutter kick are pretty important for running. It's gonna work on your lower abdominal muscle and also on your legs. But other exercise that I frequently do myself, I'll do bridge. I'll do crouch, uh, I'll do side plank, and I'll do normal plank.
And that's it. And that's it, folks. These are five exercises that I highly recommend that you incorporate as part of your training regardless of the distance that you're training for, to get faster, to run longer, and to prevent injuries. Obviously, this is not an exhaustive list. I kept it as short as possible so that it would be realistic for you to squeeze that into a 20-25 minute session, which will have huge benefit very quickly. So quick summary, it's squat, lounge, calf raise, steps, and some core exercise. Try to switch it up. Try to use different variants that's going to help you build, you know, these side muscle and it, it's not as, you know, targeted. Uh, the small variation is actually helpful. So just do slightly different. Sometimes you do single legs, sometimes you do both legs, sometimes with weight, sometimes with more repetition. If you appreciate this video, if that was helpful, please leave a thumbs up, share it with people that could benefit from it. And in the comments below, I'm curious to hear, are you including strengthening exercise as part of your routine? What are the benefits that you've seen? What are the exercises that you're using? Please share that with others so that we can learn from each other and we can all together become better runner. Again, thank you so much to everyone who's contributed financially to this channel. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna put in the description below a link to the various gear and also the various nutrition that I'm using myself. As always, thanks for watching.